welcome back to Sweetie High's Music Monday. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and this is where we get the chance to hear an exclusive live performance from some of your favorite artists. On the show today, we have Andrew Janakis. Andrew made waves with the commercial release of his breakout single, Gone Too Soon, back in September. Upon his release, Andrew debuted at number one on the Billboard's Emerging Artist Chart, and the track debuted at number 12 on Billboard Hot Country Songs and within the Hot 100, with Gone Too Soon having over 23 million on-demand streams to date. Andrew has been named a 2021 artist to watch and taking Gone Too Soon to Country Radio February 1st. Hello, Andrew. Hey, guys. How are you? I am overwhelmed, but so fantastic. <laughs> what a 2021 you had had. Congratulations on all your recent success. How crazy has it been? Thank you. Thank you. It's I mean, literally as crazy as it gets, really. It's It's been a blessing, but it's, uh, yeah, you know, to to have it happen in, in 2020 and how 2020 was going, it was absolutely incredible. Before we get into your performance, I want to ask you a few questions. Yeah. All right. My first question for you, Andrew, is we want to know what is your favorite quarantine hobby? Writing music. When do we have a date on any new music or a couple months? I would say I, I, we don't really have an exact date. I'd say a couple months for sure. Um, but the stuff that uh, that we've got, you know, cooking up and the stuff that we continue to write just is, uh, it's awesome to be able to like go, oh man, you know, I didn't think we could one up that song, but this one may be a little bit better. Oh my gosh, uh, you're making me excited already. <laughs> it's, it's, I, we're going to see how people connect to them when they when they start to come flow. So stay tuned, everyone. All Absolutely. right, question two. Andrew, what is the song you can't stop listening to? Cody Johnson, Dear Rodeo. Okay, and, is, and, there, and, is there an explanation behind why that? I, I, I think I went to a rodeo one time when <laughs> I was like seven. But, you know, the way that I connect to music may, may be a little bit different for, for other people, you know? Um, when I, the first time I heard that song, which is months ago, um, maybe even closer to a year ago, the first time I heard it, I literally cried. And I was like, why am I crying right now? And, but you know, I put myself in his shoes and it's kind of the same way that I look at Gone Too Soon. Um, you know, like he had to, he had to give up something that he loved completely. Like to him, Rodeo was Gone Too Soon. I like but that a lot. It was, I made the drive up this morning to Nashville, actually, from Georgia. And I have a four and a half hour drive. And for two hours of it, I literally listened to that song over and over and over and belted at the top of my lungs in my truck alone. No, no way. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I could definitely relate to that because one, I love a song so much, it's just on loop and loop and loop and loop. Yeah. So <laughs> totally yeah. get no, that. It, that's that's the power of music. It's so it's so amazing. For sure. All right, yep. Andrew, who would you say is your top time all time favorite country star, artist, star, whoever? Is Brad Paisley. I have. Uh, Man, I have loved his music since I was eight years old. Like, he's a I'm big just role. like, I don't know. Oh, absolutely. Like, he's, he's definitely part of the reason that I'm like the writer that I am today. You know, I listen to him every single day growing up. And there's maybe like one or two Brad songs that I don't know. Wow. <laughs> and... I mean, I mean, yeah, you know, you, you get hooked on an artist like that. And I loved Brad because every one of his songs did exactly what I want to do. And it tells a story. And like, that's the way that people can connect through music is through things that have either happened in your life or uh, happened in like your loved one's lives or anything, anything that you can take and turn into a song and people can relate to. Um, it's just really cool to have that like emotional level with another person through through music. Absolutely. And um, Brad had that with uh, with me a lot when I was growing up. So. 
All right, Andrew, last question for me before we get into your performance. But, you know, we love Gone Too Soon. We want to know what is the favorite thing or interesting fact about Gone Too Soon? I think probably it would be a favorite thing. And it and it, it, it flips back to people. Um, you know, just to have an emotional connection um, with, with, a, with another person, especially in like 2020, like where we were. And it's crazy to think we're already in 2021, really like, it, it flew by but you know to to have been able to have written the song and be a writer on the song and then perform the song and sing it and have people connect to it the way that they have um that's that's really the biggest thing for me is just like having that connection with a person again you know it's uh it's just a feeling like i think it's just like being human man i, I mean it's part of being human you know but there is, there's definitely something a little bit deeper. I just don't, I don't know how to pin it. I get that though, but you know what it is, but it's just hard to put into words. Exactly, exactly. Now everyone at home, we are lucky enough that today we will have the chance to hear an exclusive live performance of Andrew's song, Gone Too Soon. Let's take a look. Nowhere. 